fairly new buildings. What you think, Dad? Out of 10, gut reaction right this second. Mahoney Billiard Channel heading to a new pool room to do a review on it, and it's called Delmarva Billiards. And uh, we're down here for vacation. We're going to check it out. My blind assessment is an eight out of ten. What are you, what are you thinking? What's your assessment? What are you thinking? Uh, what I heard, it might be top shelf, but we're going to find out. And uh, sounds like a good joint. Seven foot diamonds, full bar menu, booze. We're going to go check it out, and we're going to let you know what we think. All right, first impressions pulling in. It's in a back, like, not good. Uh, off the beaten path. It's like off the beaten path, not out on the main boulevard. But look, we owned a pool room, we get it. Um, you know, rent is extremely expensive, but it is kind of back in the corner of a, of a backside of a um, strip mall. But hey, it's, it's a pool room, looks nice. The front of the pool room, definitely not bad. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, I unfortunately had to delete all audio from this video. With all the songs that were playing on the jukebox, I probably would have got copyright striked for this video. But I want to start off first and foremost. This series is not malicious in any way. Uh, this room's great, and I'm not going to trash any of the rooms. This is just us coming from a family that's been around poor our entire lives. My parents, my dad operated, opened, ran a room. Our family ran a room since 1990. It's still open to this day in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. So, we're just offering some help and what we think of your place. And in this case, it's a damn good place. That's how I'm going to start this off because I'm telling you right now, it's a great little spot. Um, you know, so we're going to start off with all the positives. And then at the end of the video, there is more video footage of the rest of the place. Um, but this is going to be the middle section where I just talk about what our first thoughts were. So, we show up, we walk in. Uh, it's got great lights over each table. It obviously has diamond seven footers, which is the marquee table right now. Um, and we walk in and everyone was nice. The employee was nice. We got uh, some drinks. We didn't order food, but I can assure you that it's a full bar menu. The prices were very, very good, especially for down in that area. And judging by the pictures, the food looked to be, you know, what you would expect from like a sports bar and the prices were good and even on the booze the prices were good um, I will put a link to their Facebook page in the description that way you can go there and I don't like putting rates and prices in this video because things can change you know if this video someone comes across this video two years from now and hears me say something they show up and prices are different or whatever so anyway, link down below if you want to go to their Facebook page and see what their rates and menu and stuff like that is. We played for about two hours. Uh, we got beer, we got water, and um, I got a soda. And our total bill was like 42 bucks or something like that. So very fair, especially for being, you know, 25, 30 minutes from the beach. And here's my dad locking me up safe when we're just playing for funsies. <laughs> just kidding. But as far as what I can tell from their Facebook page, they are doing weekly chip tournaments. Then they do other uh, rotation or eight ball tournaments. And then they have a wall in the back, you'll see at the end, of APA tro uh, plaques and stuff like that. So it's, it's an active room. It's a room that if you go to it, there's going to be pool players and there's going to be action. Well, maybe not action, but some action. At least there's going to be some pool players going there. And it does seem like a good little spot for, especially down in that area. Like when I first went to Rehoboth a couple years ago, I did not really see anything pop up as far as like pool room or pool. Whereas a couple years ago now, I guess about two, maybe three years ago, when I looked it up on... Um, Google, this place did come up. So, you know, now it's kind of like probably the only uh, real pole or oriented place. I'm sure there's like another sports bar that has some garbage valleys or something like that. But um, all the tables had similar aged cloth. Um, the regulars that were in there were all matched up. A couple of them were betting small. Uh, we did talk to the one guy in the parking lot after to see if he wanted to be in the YouTube video and he declined. But well, that would have been nice to get that in there. Um, Plenty of bar space, you know, the bathrooms are hands down the nicest bathrooms that I've ever seen in a pool room. And I didn't video in there because I know that 
it gets weird. Like there is certain roles and laws that you're not allowed to video in restrooms, but I'm telling you, nicest restrooms I've ever seen in a pool room in my life. Um, oh, and they also have the uh, whiteboard dart boards, the, the woody boards. So they probably have leagues for that as well. Um, so it's a really, it's, it's a really good spot. It really is. Um, plenty of TVs. Uh, you can, you can, I'm sure you can watch, you know, whatever sport you like. They have this area back here. I did say that, I mean, I can get them some stuff to put in there if they would be interested. Then I walked back here and I was like, whoa. I mean, it would be maybe tight on the one spot where the wall comes out. But man, what a great little back room to put two nine-footers. That was the only drawback for me, personally. Well, and my dad. No nine-footers is a drawback. And you'll see what my dad rates it at the end. And I'll give my rating at the end as well. But... Not having nine footers is a big drawback. It would be great if they had two nine footers back here tucked away. That'd be so sweet. Um, but this is a nice little area though as well. I mean, maybe they use the valleys for APA. I'm not sure. Or maybe they have different plans for that in the future, you know, to do something different back there. But here are the restrooms to the right. And what I'm talking about here is I can't video in there, but they are baller edition bathrooms for a pool room. Um, American flag, that's always a nice touch. That's going to get you bonus points with us. Um, then they have a whole bunch of hardware here for leagues and stuff. So that is super, super cool. And we'll turn it back over to me. Come in, it kind of splits. I think it was an old doctor's office. But that is a great little spot. Come out, Beautiful outside smoking. Line. Well lit. Brand new building, fairly new building. What you think, Dad? Out of 10, gut reaction right this second. I'm digging it. It's a very difficult location, but there's a big highway behind it. And if the signage out there isn't all that good, but if you turn and come back, you'll see a little billiard sign about this big. I think if they had a marquee out there with all kind of, you know, uh, action going on on the highway, we will. But uh, I'm digging this place right here. It's all seven footers and uh, there's a nice crowd in there. It, it could use scrubbed up a little bit the equipment yeah restrooms are spotless now whatever you this is your first number out of 10 so you have to gauge the rest of your rooms that you're in on being a seven eight or nine foot you know eight or nine foot guy you know uh it's 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 nice i give it a seven on a scale of one to ten because of the location and how beautiful it is fairly new building spotless restrooms and nice help and uh a nice crowd. Seven? I'll give, I'll give it a seven. You can yeah. go point something, like like in minute numbers, in case we do a lot of these. Seven point goose egg. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So, 11 hours ago, they posted this to their page. I'm going to go over it real quick. And they have gotten really active on their Facebook page uh, since I was there and gave them my card and said I was doing this video. I'm not saying it's because of me, but they have been super active on their, <laughs> on their Facebook since I left there. So... Del, Delmarva Billiards and Sports Bar, um, right here it says, only pool room in Sussex, eight diamonds, two valleys, as I said, full bar, full kitchen, seven big screen TVs to watch your favorite sports events, open Monday through Thursday, 4 to 11, Friday, Saturday, 11 to 1, Sunday, 11 to 9, and I was right, uh, tournaments, Wednesdays and Friday nights at 7, uh, they have eight ball and fast track eight ball, and then uh, if they're smart, they'd get a chip tournament going, that seems to be really popular for everywhere. And, and doubles. Doubles has been going really, really good for most places that I see on, uh, on Facebook. Um, then it looks like they have a bigger tournament they're going to start. Uh, they got the leagues posted here. APA, BCA, and a Fargo senior league in-house. I mean, I'm telling you what, this place is pretty decent. It's, it's pretty legit, and they're, they're doing well um, trying to, to hustle because you got to hustle when you have a pole room. And time for my... Final thoughts and what I would rate the pool room. Final thoughts. Everything about the place was very good. I will take away first and foremost because of not having nine footers. Secondly, now the night before they had their Friday night tournament, things like that. But the balls and the cloth were quite dirty. Um, but the rest of it wasn't. Like just the pool tables and pool equipment were what was dirty. Nothing else was dirty. Um, but that's a big one for me. And, you know, the only other thing to mention is that they didn't have any real equipment there for sale. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, that's really it. That's the only drawbacks for me. 
So I'm actually going to go higher than my dad. My dad's just keeping it low in case we go to somewhere that's like insane. Give He wants some room up above that 7. But I'm actually going to go a 7.8 out of 10. And that might sound low, you know, especially if people that own the place are watching. But you have to remember, that's a very, very high score. Um, you just, this is our first episode. Um, so we're going to base the rest of our ratings around that number. And uh, let me know your thoughts below if you've been here. If you haven't been, let me know what you like about the series, what you would want me to change on future episodes. Thanks for watching. Mahal and Beard channel out. Catch you on the next one.